street photography is hard. When I first started, I had no idea what I was doing. I was afraid, my photos were terrible, and I always felt like quitting. But I stuck with it, and through this process, I was able to find ways to improve. So here's how I got better at street photography. I used to come back from shoots feeling like shit because I couldn't get anything good. This feeling manifested itself to a point where I felt so discouraged that I just wanted to give up. I knew I couldn't go on like this. Something had to change. So one day I just started telling myself, it's okay to come back with nothing. In other words, I was prepared to fail. Getting into this mindset took a ton of pressure off of me. I didn't have to force myself to deliver results, and it made shooting enjoyable again. I spent around two years shooting street photography with just my film camera. This did wonders for my ego, and it made me feel like a real photographer. Jokes aside, shooting film did teach me a lot about photography and I have the utmost respect for photographers who dedicate themselves to this format. But for most of us, shooting with a simpler method will almost always guarantee better results, especially when you consider how fast you need to react on the streets to capture fleeting moments. In the past year, I've simplified my way of shooting. I do a majority of my street photography on a digital camera, I shoot in aperture priority mode, and I use functions like auto ISO and exposure compensation to assist me. It's a more efficient way to shoot and I've produced some of my best work using this method. At the end of the day, it really is just about the final photo and not the method you use to capture it. It's also really important to know your camera well. Your camera should feel like an extension of yourself and not something that you have to worry about. For me, that camera is the Ricoh GR3. I have it with me almost every day, and I've spent hours upon hours practicing with it and learning everything I can about it. I know its strengths, and its limitations. I'm so used to it that everything feels like second nature to me when I'm shooting with it. I do use other cameras for fun, but the GR3 is definitely my workhorse for street photography. You need to find a camera that works for your style of shooting and just stick with it. Practice with it long enough and you'll start to feel like you can't shoot with anything else. I use music to hype myself up for a lot of things, but never for street photography. You need to utilize all of your senses on the streets, and hearing is a big one. There are so many audio cues in a city that can lead you to a great photo. Movement, children playing, people arguing. These are all things that you'll miss if you're not purposely paying attention. So get rid of that music and listen to the streets. You'll be surprised how much more you can actually see. Street photography for me is less about taking photos and more about observing and enjoying life in my city. When I'm out shooting, I get to witness a lot of beautiful moments and interactions between human beings. Interactions that most people will not even notice because they're too busy to look. And photographing these moments is just my way of sharing what I see with everyone else. 
Human behavior is predictable. The more you observe, the more you'll be able to pick up on patterns. And being able to predict is the greatest skill that you can have in street photography. Observe, predict, and react. Practice this every single day. Last but not least, learn to be honest with yourself and critique your work. If you're not happy with how your photos came out, figure out why. If you missed a shot that you should have gotten, reflect on that and remind yourself not to do it again the next time you're out. It's really up to you to spot your own weaknesses and find ways to improve. This is the only way you'll be able to drive through barriers and grow as a photographer. I hope you found this useful. And remember, this is a never ending journey. Just enjoy it and keep shooting. So yeah, I wish you a wonderful Christmas time, a holiday season um, with your friends and family. If you're allowed to be with them, of course. And um, yeah, I guess I see you in the next videos or next year. Bye guys, take care.